Slimer! Hey everyone, Babu Mac here, and today on the show, we're wrapping up the core members, at least, of the real Ghostbusters from Diamond Select. Speaking of Diamond Select, special shout out to them for making this review possible. Up on the chopping block today, of course, is Dr. Peter Venkman. I'm very excited to be talking about him because, I mean, I finally have my Ghostbusters team complete from the real Ghostbusters, and that's that's pretty awesome. Of course, this series from Diamond Select also includes the Build to Firehouse piece. We're almost done building that. More on that towards the end of the program. Uh, but, you know, Peter Makeman here, one spiffy fella, ready for action, busting ghosts, if you will. And overall, it's actually a really fun figure. I have actually had a lot of fun taking pictures with this guy. Of course, on the front here, we have the Ghostbusters packaging. And then if I move it around to the side and work the camera a little bit, you'll see that Diamond Select has included some artwork of Peter Venkman in figure form for their packaging, which is nice, you know, always digging that. And then we take it to the back. Of course, I've already talked about Ray. We're talking about Peter today. Of course, there's that beautiful firehouse. And there is Mr. Stave Puff, the big guy. So... Let's go ahead and get this packaging out of the way, and I'll talk about all of this a bit more in depth. So, in terms of Dr. Venkman here, the sculpting's done really well by Gentle Giant. Once again, it is a caricature of Peter Venkman from the cartoon show, so I know it's not going to hit everybody's liking, but I think for trying to do a realistic cartoon caricature look of the guy they did a good job the hair came out great i love the sculpting details on that the paint overall i really have no issues with which is nice and you know i don't know what's up with that 80s hair but it looks good in figure form of course we go to the jumpsuit here which is a dark brown and one of the nice details that i appreciate throughout the guy is the green on the costume i mean you got it there at the sleeves you got it even at the bottom as the boots connect to the jumpsuit and even over up top on the collar itself, it looks nice. But, you know, it has a good look. We've seen this body mold before. The belt is reused. Um, you know, all the wrinkles and stuff are there, which are nice. Uh, hands look good. And, uh, of course, the boots work just fine. So, let's go ahead and break down articulation, shall we? Now, in terms of the head, the head can look up uh, a good amount. Not too shabby. You can have Peter Venkman looking down, too which is nice as you can see and then of course you get side to side for expressions and whatnot for Dr. Venkman and then you get the 360 rotation on the head exorcist style now in terms of the arms they do go out that far now keep in mind I do have my proton pack off but you can bring it all the way around really no issues we got a swivel at the elbow and a hinge so that works we're all familiar with this by now and we got a swivel and hinge at the hand and the hand is removable which is good now in terms of the body articulation once again the the diaphragm joint works very well both forwards and back and once again the proton pack is off but you can get it to go side to side with no issues and twist and turn so not too bad there now i did have a bit of a problem he did get stuck right here but that was just from the paint from the factory but eventually i did get peter to turn so you got articulation there so nothing to be worried about in terms of the legs they do go out quite a bit you can have peter doing the splits you can have him kick forward ah, about that much and then of course he can go back ever so slightly and then let's zoom the camera out so you can see that better we got the uh, thigh cut the double bend at the knee and then for the foot I can go back that far and then it can go up that much and then it does have the ankle rocker which allows some fun action and then on the bottom we have pegs and so why continue showing off the leg articulation for some reason let's go ahead and break down accessories but I will say I do like Peter here the articulation overall works and uh, we'll just take it from there 
All right, let's talk real Ghostbuster accessories. And for Peter, we kick it off with the Proton Pack. Once again, the Proton Pack is non-removable unless you heat and pop the figure uh, at the diaphragm joint. But I do love the design of this Proton Pack. I really had no issues. Uh, now, Peter, unfortunately, does suffer from an issue. But as you can see, um, the straps there look nice. How they have nice detail. Wish they were remo removable, excuse me. But they are not. But the problem I have here is that I can't get the proton wand to clip to the clip on the pack itself and that is a bit frustrating at times right now it's holding in place obviously but i've had had problems with that now that i've got the the wand here away from the pack what we're going to do now is show off that proton stream and of course this is done in the kenner colors of the vintage Peter Venkman, and this came out good. We've seen this design before, uh, but the nice thing is it plugs right in there with really no issues. Just be careful with it. I've already broken my Ray one, and that's kind of a bummer, but I'll end up picking up another Ray. What the heck, right? Uh, but as you can see, it fits on. Really no issues. Very cool, and a fun little piece that both Diamond and Gentle Giant didn't have to include, but did, and I'm all aboard on that. Now, of course, we got extra set of hands. We kick it off with glove gripping hands and then we got glove uh, opened or relaxed hands if you will it would have been nice to have some more just human hands but you know there is some variety at least and then of course we have our ghost trap here done in real ghostbuster style and as i bring the proton pack in here and i totally forgive me i forgot to flip it over the proper way you think by now i'd already have this all done and good but as you can see it plugs right in it looks nice and it's a great place to store those pesky ghosts that the ghostbuster capture and then lastly we have our pke meter which came out good we've seen this before too uh but it's nice that each one of the ghostbusters has it in case egon specifically is not around and then that big piece in the background there is the second to last piece for the firehouse which i am excited for and i'll be doing a full video of the firehouse once i'm done reviewing mr stay puff but you know it's coming together nicely guys and i'm very excited let's go ahead and do final thoughts overall here are my final thoughts look at this we have all four ghostbusters and slimer here hanging out and having a blast i am so thankful and so amazed that we finally got these figures. And once again, I'm going to say it, but a huge shout out to Diamond Select for making this possible. Now, I'm not done talking about Ghostbusters. I still have Mr. Stay Puff to do. Uh, I'm waiting on a Praying Mantis so I can try to recreate some uh, Revenge of Murray Mantis uh, photos. We'll see how they come out. Um, I don't know how good they are, but we'll try. But as for Peter here, I'm so happy that I have this figure and that the team's complete. And I look forward in the future to snapping a ton more pictures of him. Now, the million dollar question, should you pick up the guy or not? Well, if you're not a fan of real Ghostbusters, I really don't know why you're still watching the video. But if you love the Ghostbusters, you love the real Ghostbusters, uh, it's definitely worth picking up because you need them to complete the team and you need them to complete the firehouse. So those are pretty much my final thoughts. If you get a chance, head over to shopdiamondselect.com and uh, pick it up or pick it up from a local comic book shop or e-tailer. Um, with that being said, though, guys, thank you for stopping by and going through the process with me on YouTube. If you get some free time, head over to UndercoverCapes.com and check out Extreme Dash sets as well. With that being said, though, guys, slideshow at the end. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care. Until next time, great googly moogly.